This is Piers Morgan Live. What is your take uh, on what has happened here? Do you believe that it was all completely justified or do you think there was another way perhaps of resolving this without your friend being killed? Well, it, there's always uh, an opportunity to look things over and determine that there could possibly be another way that it could have been done. As law enforcement, you train for so many different uh, uh, outcomes. You don't necessarily, every outcome has to end in a death of someone. So we are looking at that as the Law Enforcement Alliance to, to make sure that uh, all parts of this is played out correctly and that all the inf information in this investigation is relayed to, to all of the, the proper uh, uh, authorities, the family, and all people responsible for this will, will you know, be interviewed and determine exactly what part they played and hopefully we can get some answers because right now there's so many questions. Right, I mean, uh, and Darren Green, we know that uh, Marion suffered a lot of mental issues. She obviously, according to her sister, had uh, a form of postpartum depression and so on. Um, does any of that in the end come into play, though? If you're guarding the White House or uh, the Capitol itself, presumably you've got to be on such ready alert for any kind of attack. You don't really have time to think, is this person, you know, a harmless woman who's suffering some form of depression or is she a terrorist? Well, I, I think clearly uh, what has to happen is what we rely on in, in training. And let me just clarify for the record, if I can, Pierce, is uh, I'm with Nassau County Sheriff's Department, not the Police Department. It's one right. of that uh, slight correction. Uh, but I think that when you think about mental illness and, again, the training that the officers undergo, we, we call it muscle memory. When you, when you train hard and you train properly, it becomes something that you do instantaneously. And again, uh, Monday morning quarterback in the situation now is, is a little late. But clearly the methods that were used at that point in time were, were clearly questionable as to is there a lesser degree of the force when you are dealing with somebody that's dealing with a mental illness. And hard for them to diagnose at that particular point in scene, but clearly there has to be something that was just said by one of your other, uh, your other guests is that the word panic. Uh, if the officers panicked, uh, and under, under the extreme stress, there are panic. Panic does not allow you for rational thinking because, because you're at such a, a stress level. So that, and that's where the training becomes a very vital factor, is that that vital factor allows your muscle memory to kick in and do the things that you were properly trained to do. Panic cannot be an option that that can be a reason or excuse as to why you did not perform properly.